Today, let us discuss the last part of designing learning experiences, the closure of learning activities. So teachers use closure activities to check the understanding of lear learners and to inform the subse subsequent in instruction. No? Another is teacher provides closure activities to emphasize key information. Ano yung kailangang alalahanin through repetition, through the help of Turndike's law of exercise. Okay, class, again, we discussed this uh, topic. What, what can you still remember or recall? Yeah, no. So we asked for the key information to keep no or sa keep in mind no we tie up loose ends yung mga uh, gaps no sa mga skills knowledge na introduce natin no uh, we associate okay correlate para mas maunawaan nila okay kaya pala din discuss niya yon ito din discuss niya uh, interconnected pala siya no we can even correct misunderstandings no very uh, uh, i-verify natin yung na-discuss ng learner through Q&A or activities na pansin natin na mali, then we can record, uh, correct. No? We can also, through uh, closure activities, we can apply, deepen, extend, and enrich the discuss knowledge and skills attitude sa specific content or topic. No? So sa a uh, lighter level of closure learning activities it can be used sa formative and summative assessments no yung mga sumusunod ay uh, ginagamit of course may mga ibang strategies or uh, activities na pwedeng nating gamitin ito ay mga simple activities na pwedeng nating gamitin sa sa closing part ng ating lecture or sa, sa post lecture no Yung third, uh, today I learned to, no, we can use post it, no, or write nila yung isang specific phrase or word, no, na insights nila sa discussion, no, or yung takeaways nila, then ipopost nila sa, sa uh, board, or maari namang more on writing, no. Sa 3 to 1, maaaring magbago siya. No? 3 main insights or takeaways, 2 striking points, or 1 question. Maaaring magbago yan. No? Maaaring 3 questions to ask, 2 uh, main insights or takeaways, 1 striking points. No? Sa, sa fishbowl, ito naman yung learners will be invited to uh, write a word or definition sa likod ng papel. No? Nandun yung, yung word sa front, then yung back yung definition. Then, i-collect yung ni facilitator or ni teacher. Then, may learner na bubunot after collecting those pieces of paper. Then, may bubunot na learner. Kung nabunot niya yung word, i-define niya. I-check yung tama yung definition na nasa likod. Pag nabunot niya na may definition, then hulaan niya kung ano yung term noong definition na yun, no? Uh, yung iba ginagamit nila quiz be through fishbowl technique. No? Yung snowstorm naman, yeah, we can write in a piece of paper yung concept or definition, then crumple. No? Or even, yeah, and then throw it, uh, paper snowball in the air, then others will pick and read uh, yung, yung uh, learn nila sa klase, or learn experiences nila sa klase through discussion. So, para ma-execute din yung managing the learning environment, pwedeng isa-isa, no? Kasi pag pinasito natin sila lahat, it creates chaos and ingay sa klase. Yung goal, uh, yung thumbs up, thumbs down naman, ito yung posing some questions, then the learners will react or explain yung kanilang uh, narinig na question or statement. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs up, down, no? May iba nag-print, no, sa im sa reactions ng Facebook na ginagamit nila yan. And sa gallery walk naman, uh, albawa yung learners or group of learners create a uh, mock-up no, or diorama or gallery, no, yung albawa yung mini museum, then you will place yung different outputs nila sa paligid ng classroom. Then you ask learners to uh, round, no? Doon sa outputs nila, magka-counts ka, no? Uh, at, uh, for one minute or two minutes, observe their output, then rotate. 
that is gallery walk. Sa higher level of closure learning activities, ito ay maaari natin apply sa performance check or lalo na sa performance tasks. So, hindi lamang siya nag-stay usually sa cognitive affective, mas na-address natin yung psychomotor. Example, uh, role play. No? Ito yung, it allows learners to explore realistic situations by interacting with other people, by playing a specific role, no? Gaya ng Noli Metanghere, El Fili, no? or halimbawa sa, sa fallacies, they will, create, they will intentionally create a scenarios na nandun yung fallacies. They will analyze. No? Sa exhibit naman, ito yung project presentation ng products no? na exhibit nila what they have learned. Kaya sa science noon, no? they create a mini exhibit where they demonstrate different uh, principles in physics. No? Sa uh, symposium naman, ito yung presentation of the learners' learned knowledge, skills, and attitude no? about the recent trends and compared to, uh, to, to high, higher form of learning. No? Ito yung broader understanding of the topic, like what I did with the uh, philosophy in his, in her environment. I asked my learners to uh, hold a symposium about environmental protection, no? conservation. So they talk. Uh, sa mga classrooms then, then provide specific knowledge and skills and attitudes about uh, resegregation, no? uh, iwasang gumamit ng mga tetrapak, mga sachet size na uh, consumable materials. No? While you field trip naman, you allow your learners to be exposed no? to specific environment by visiting to a place outside the regular classroom para mas maunawaan nila yung scenario, how to make cheese, how to make yung bread, gardenia bread, bring them to Senate no? or GMA or EBS, and then iba pang uh, learning environment na hindi lang nagstay sa four corners ng classroom. So, sa strategies and techniques to support learner understanding achievement, we recognize these different approaches. No? When we say um, metacognitive approach beyond cognition, no? we allow learners to be aware of how they think about thinking. They acquired knowledge, skills, and attitudes. That is what, no? But how they acquired knowledge and skills and attitudes, yun yung metacognitive. O class, uh, uh, Juan, naka-perfect ka. Very good. Congratulations. Paano ka naka-perfect? Ano yung mga ginawa mong methods para mas manawaan mo yung diniscuss natin noong nakaraan? Yung share ni Juan, yun yung metacognition. No? Metacognitive approach. Hindi niya tinalakay kung ano yung natutunan niya kung paano siya natuto. Ano pa yung mga ginawa niya no? bukod sa binigay natin na discussion sa kanila. No? Sa so integrated approach, ito inter interdisciplinary. We integrate learning within the subject area like listening, reading, writing, no? speaking in language. Kung sa math, no? we perform PEMDAS to integers. Kung sa AP, uh, we discuss history, then introduce geography, and then economics. No? So we integrate uh, learning with another uh, skills, no? Kapag naman uh, itong uh, isang integration naman, we discuss specific issues sa AP, environmental issues, then we integrate yung uh, scientific explanation about uh, the importance of power, how to, to uh, conserve power, no? Sa constructivist approach, we provide basic information sa ating learners, kaya na na-discuss natin sa direct and indirect teaching, yung tools na kakailangan nila, and then allow learners to construct their own learning experiences. Kaya sa constructive approach. Guide the teacher, and then ito na yung binubuo nila. That is constructive, like SIP, research, uh, capstone, no? Yan mga yan, no? Dako tayo sa questioning techniques. Sa questioning techniques, there are times we cannot 
arrive dun sa expected nating sagot na hinihingi natin sa learners. It's a matter of art of questioning. There are times, of course, sa learners, no, dapat sinesat natin yung higher order ng questioning. Kahit yung alam natin na yung learners ay kaya niya or hindi, no? kailangan yung set siya sa taas to eliminate biases. Ngayon, kung hindi nasagot, bumababa yung level ng questioning hanggang sa masasagot na lang nila ay yes or no or tama o mali. No? Kung ito ba yung sagot? Oo or hindi. No? Maaari tayo mag-umpisa sa open-ended, then mauwi siya sa closed question. No? So, hindi natin pwede sabihin na be, uh, mali ang sagot. Hindi natin pwede na hindi pa upuin yung learner kapag hindi nasagot. No? Hindi pwede tayo magka meron heaven, earth, and hell dun sa classroom kapag nakasagot. No? Kasi siya ay uh, maaari mauwi sa abuse or traumatic situation ng learners. No? So, sa emerging concept in questioning techniques, we can use uh, this specific questions, no? to determine one's KSA. No? We can even verify. We can use type these types of questions to verify the accuracy of their understanding. No? We can introduce a productive and creative thinking. No? How they will answer our questions, showing originality. We can evaluate learners' uh, judgment, choice, no? values. And we can include, increase the aware, the interest and engagement of learners by posing questions. No, so sa le low level of uh, questioning, we pose questions to address their learned experiences. Yun nasa memory nila. We just ask simple recollection, no, ng ideas. Ask them to define energy, define inertia, define rules in playing volleyball. No? What's the first law of motion? That is low level. Nagiging high level siya. If we ask our learners to analyze, evaluate, synthesize, solve a specific problem, like why, why does temperature rise towards noon time? What there, why there's a rule in the basketball? Why there's a low tide and high tide? No? Why there's a clips. So, yun yung high level. When it comes to convergent question or closed questions, it can be answered by yes or no. No, It requires a single answer like defining, stating, or interpreting, or summarizing a specific uh, concept. No, Kung sa assessment, sa summative, usually, or effective, uh, summative assessment, yung nakikita natin true or false, multiple choice, standardized test, or objective type of test. Sa divergent, it requires learners to think in different ways, find alternative, no? Uh, to analyze specific concept, no? To create a idea, no? Say, for example, is what will happen if you leave this material under the direct sunlight for a week? Why are you voting for him or her, no? Uh, showing a person specific, a learner a photo, then ask him or her to create a caption for a photo. That is divergent question. No? So, in enhancing question in te techniques, we provide feedback. That is wrong, it's an embarrassing moment, but instead give hint as feedback. Explain the correct answers when someone gets it right. No? Uh, use appropriate praise. Uh, okay, thank you. Nice answer. Let us hear from other, another learner if they will support your answer. No, uh, follow up questions. No, we can lo logically post questions as preceding questions to develop mentally uh, post deeper understanding or learning. No, we can redirect questions. No, reformulate questions. Kapag hindi na kuha, we can even replace. Replace. Uh, replace terms or idioms, tense, or avoid long questions. No? And we can also provide nonverbal encouragement such as hands, uh, gestures, smiling face, body language. No?